can become comfortable with allowing mind or subjectivity into the clinical space. Contrarywise, I have a concern that the mind-oriented clinicians feel comfortable about allowing the body properly into the clinical space. And at bedrock, my concern is with how we respond to patients and clients as persons, and as persons in relationship, and how we respond to the stories of these persons. But in practice, my uh, clinical work uh, is with patients who present with diagnoses, with very clinical conditions, uh, typically through the immunology department. Uh, common presentations involve urticaria, asthma, eczema, food allergy, pseudo food allergy, uh, polysymptomatic situations where people are grasping at straws and thinking this might be immunological or allergic or food allergy or food chemical sensitivity or whatever. And uh, a small number of those patients also present with pain. I also see in my private practice a whole range of other mind-body disorders that would not classically or typically come through an immunology clinic. Um, <clears throat> But it, my concern, this is my other concern, is about people presenting with physical illnesses and in, which, in whom we do not sever the mind from the body. Now I want to show you a, uh, a quotation from Wendell Berry, the uh, American poet, essayist, farmer, environmentalist, and he wrote this in 1978 in a most unlikely book for a clinical setting, The Unsettling of America, Culture and Agriculture. The most dangerous tendency in modern society, now rapidly emerging as a scientific industrial ambition, is the tendency towards encapsulation of human order, the severance once and for all of the umbilical cord fastening us to the wilderness or the creation. There is not just a severance of humans from the land. There is a severance within the people we work with. We have severed mind and story from body and disease. In Western culture, this severance is several centuries underway, traditionally attributed to Descartes, and we in healthcare generally accept this severance as a given. And the cost to individual and community health is enormous. <clears throat> 